Hi all, I'm Drew, Grunt's VP of Sales, and I'm going to show you Grunt's logo rule or how to insert logos into your PowerPoint presentation. Before we dig into the product, let's discuss why we built this feature. Currently, without Grunt's logo rule, you have to go through several steps, which I'm assuming sounds familiar to all of you. First, you have to leave your presentation to find the logo. If that's a shared company folder, you have to find the folder first. Then, if the folder doesn't have the logo of the company you're looking for, you have to go to Google. Now, if you search a logo on Google, you have to find the correctly branded logo and make sure it's the right size and format. Then, of course, you download the logo and move it to your presentation. Once back in the presentation, you align it to the right location and adjust the size. And of course, you have to repeat this process for each and every logo. That's a lot of time if you're adding multiple logos per slide. So Grunt fixes these tedious tasks in a few ways. First, Grunt brings the logos directly into PowerPoint so you don't have to leave your presentation. We built a smart search feature using the cloud to find the right logo. All logos are high quality vector format and Grunt auto aligns and sizes all logos for you so you're not clicking around with a mouse. Of course, this consolidates a ton of time. Now, additionally, if you don't want to use the smart search feature, uh, you can also use your shared company folder and bring your logos into that PowerPoint directly as well. All right, so let's dig in on how to use this logo rule in a few different applications. On this first slide, you'll see one of Grunt's classic visual grids. It's a list of some Fortune 500 companies and their revenues. In the column on the left, you'll see the company names. Nothing too exciting, very basic. To turn these into logos, you're going to select all of the cells with company names in them. Then on the right hand side of the screen, you're going to click the plus sign to find the rule. Once you've opened that rule, search for logos. In the pop-up window, you'll see a list of logos. Simply apply them all. Now, let's say I don't like the Exxon logo. I simply go back to the pop-up window and click on Exxon. The Smart Search gives you several other options of logos. Select the one you like and see that it updates in the presentation. If you want to adjust the size, simply go to the size, margins, or layout selection at the bottom of that pop-up window. In the second slide, we have a line graph. And unlike the first slide where the names of the car companies are in the visual grid, these are in individual cells. The easiest way to handle individual cells is to apply the rule to one and to copy to the others. So let's take Tesla. You'll select the cell and again, add the logo rule. Once you've created the rule, click the copy icon in the lower right of the pop-up window. You'll see the blue download button appears. So click that and update the text to a logo. I don't particularly like this Ford logo, so I'm going to find a new one by clicking on that logo. This is the Ford logo I like, so I'll select that. And then simply copy and paste the rule to the remaining cells. On this final slide, Let's say this is a pricing slide for Toyota. We have already applied the logo rule to the cell which you can see here. Now, let's say you want to duplicate this slide multiple times over for a few other auto companies. You simply duplicate the slide. Because of the duplication, Grunt reads the rule is also in this cell. Select the cell and make sure the cell is grayed out. Then, Type in the company you want and click enter and download. And voila, you have Audi. And that's Grunt's logo rule. 
I hope this shows you how to apply this rule in a few different applications. If you have any questions, please send us feedback in the feedback form on the Grunt tab.